Wellness Wednesday is brought to you by Adventist Health. Welcome back on this Wellness Wednesday. I'm Kiyoshi Tomono with Adventist Health, and we've got another recipe cooking up here in the Adventist Health Wellness Kitchen with Serena from the Edible Schoolyard, Kern County, a program of the Grimm Family Education Foundation. Serena, how are you? Good. How about yourself? I'm excellent. So you and you guys have some summer camps coming up over there at the Edible Schoolyard. Um, you can have kids on campus. A lot of these recipes, again, are things that we want kids to be in the kitchen with and enjoying maybe cooking time with the parents, right? Exactly. And keeping it simple, right? Okay. <laughs> so There's, I mean, very few ingredients in front of us. So yeah. So today we'll be making a coconut chia pudding. Very simple. Um, coconut, it's coming from coconut milk and coconut cream. It so looks like that marshmallow topping sort of that you get. Fluff, marshmallow fluff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but this is actually healthy for you. And again, if you don't want to use coconut milk or the cream, you could just use any milk that you have on hand. So whole milk, um, almond milk, would that almond work? milk okay. would work, soy milk. So just, you know, whatever you prefer. And then we're going to add some lemon zest. And that's just going to add some flavor, the natural oils from the lemon that are on the zest. And you can um, use a zest. There's an actual zester. I think I have one of those at home, but not everyone has one of those. You just have to cut it. It's like a grater. You can a, a grater. cheese grater. Cheese if grater you just get work. it just lightly, you don't want really the white part because the pith becomes too bitter. Okay, so, so just, the yellow, just the yellow and outside, and you're just grating the outside like you would cheese. Yes, and okay. then uh, to sweeten it, we're using some agave today, but you could use maple syrup or honey. So you want a natural sweetener, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's where we're headed with the recipe. Yep. And then we'll just give that a quick little whisk. And then we're going to add um, chia seeds. They're small but mighty okay. little seeds. They are full of omega-3 fatty acids. They are full of fiber, protein. So you really, I mean, the benefits you get from chias or the chia seeds are amazing. I'm not going to lie. That we, was a lot. <laughs> no, that is a lot. But, but my like first impression of chia seeds, right, is the, the thing that you see during Christmas time with like the terracotta All thing. The where you, <laughs> <laughs> where you grow the, the seeds. The that little, is the same thing, right? It sprouts eventually. They do, but they're not going to sprout. <laughs> um, the, what they're going to do is they're going to become gelatinous, so uh -huh. they start to be more jolly-like. Okay. So you want to make this in advance. This wouldn't be like something you make and eat right away. Like an overnight oats this candy ha exactly. where you put it in the, in the fridge. And it is rich in flavor just because you're getting all the fat from the coconut, which is good. Mm -hmm. And then you have the natural sweetener. So this could be enjoyed as breakfast or as dessert even if you want. Um, and I do not recommend this. This is not one serving. So you just want a little portion of it. Okay. Um, something I like to enjoy it with is also if you make a fruit smoothie, you could just have a little dollop on the mm -hmm. side or just a little portion like we have here. Right. But, um, it's got like peaches on top. Yes. So you can put some extra fruit on it to kind fruit of jazz it up a little bit. Inside or even some coconut powder if you want that chocolatey flavor. And but that's it. That's they were saying pineapple. You could add pineapple juice, something like that also to sweeten it up a little bit instead of like maybe the, the syrup or whatever else you used. That, yes. Yeah. And so again, like I said, you would just customize it to your uh, liking and again, getting creative in the kitchen. So once you've already whisked everything, you can either put it back in little jars and then cap it and put it in the refrigerator for a few hours or overnight. Mm -hmm. And then it's ready to serve the next day. So here we just topped it off with some delicious early peaches from the Buena Vista Edible Schoolyard. And this would be like your serving size, just a nice little <laughs> treat no, <boy. laughs> to have. Um, for breakfast or, like I said, for dessert after dinner. And these are great recipes. These are, by the way, recipes from the Blue Zones Kitchen book by Dan Butner. Blue Zones, of course, as we've been talking about here on Wednesdays, uh, those areas around the world, like uh, you know Okinawa, Japan, uh, where folks live to 100 plus, is yep. because they eat stuff like this. It's not all the same foods, but it's whole foods and wholesome foods as opposed to eating those processed sugary things that you see in the morning a lot exactly. of times in a lot of bowls uh, across uh, our county. So. And it's filling, so with the fiber that the seeds have, you're going to stay full for a long time. So, so you're not going to be eating something right. else because the sugar gets through you and by the time 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock rolls around, you're like, look at this. You're tired. You're looking for something else. That's where you go for coffee and everything else, right? So, yeah. Excellent. So Great recipe. So, Serena, thank you so much. And again, all these recipes can be found uh, on the KGET dot, uh, KGET.com website. So if you're looking for this recipe and a lot of others, you'll see them over there. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back after this.